Hi, Rich Tarani here. We're at Interop 2009 in Las Vegas, and we're in the TMC newsroom with Todd Latanzi with Adtran. Todd, how are you? I'm doing well, Rich. How about you? I'm doing exceptionally well. We, uh, we had a meeting yesterday. We talked a little bit about some of these new products that you have that I thought were so interesting. And we invited you back and said, why don't you bring one of them? And you obliged us, and here we go. And, and uh, before we do that, why don't you just give me a... Um, 30-second elevator pitch on your company. Yeah, okay, great. Well, thanks. Appreciate the opportunity. So, uh, so Adtran is, um, is really focused in on small to medium uh, enterprise and distributed enterprise and really providing entire voice and data solutions for, uh, for that size customer, whether it's uh, routing, uh, Ethernet switching, uh, IP uh, telephony products, and, and all the way down to the desktop with IP phones and wireless access points. That's great, and one of the areas uh, that you've uh, you've developed a new product in is is right here, right? It's, yes. a, it's a switching product. That's which, right. Which, what model is this? Yep. So this is uh, one of three that we uh, that we uh, announced this week uh, in our NetVanta line. So it's our NetVanta 1544 series, and uh, really geared towards uh, aggregation. Um, so it takes uh, uh, an entire solution now. A, a, a partner can deploy an entire Adtran solution now. Uh, starting out with some of our workgroup switches and then aggregating that back into uh, our NetVanta 1544 series. So some of the big applications for it uh, are uh, particularly with um, uh, voice and data convergence now, having presence applications or that kind of thing running on your PC, now having layer 3 switching to route between the PC's need to be, uh, to be on the voice network and the data network at the same time. So what's the response been? Uh, it's been it's been real well. One of the big uh, big features and one of the unique differentiators about the product is um, it's 24 uh, uh, gigabit ports, but then there's four uh, ports that are gigabit plus two and a half gig. So the great thing about that is for customers that are looking for higher bandwidth than one gig, but can't afford to step into an expensive 10 gig connection, now they can take those four two and a half gig ports and aggregate them together. So it really fits a nice hole in the market from an aggregation switch standpoint. So really, uh, the ability for a company to buy what they need today, but also have an upgrade path to 10 gig without spending the money immediately Well, well that's it. exactly right. They can start off with 2.5 gig, or they can start out with 5 gig, and then grow as they need in a very economical manner. So is this something that you developed in re response to a customer demand, or just you thought that was the interest the industry would want it? Yeah, so we uh, we did see some interest from the customer base, you know, and, and identified this hole in the market where there was a, a pretty big step between uh, what's commonly out there today with with one gig, and and what's out there with ten gig. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of both. It's very exciting. And how about the other products that you've rolled out? Yeah, so there's three versions of the 1544. There's uh, one with power over Ethernet, so powering IP phones to go with it. And then the final one is the 1544F, which is an all-fiber version. So great for campus applications where you're uh, backhauling uh, a lot of bandwidth across the campus at distances that, that can't be served by regular copper-based Ethernet. That's great. So it just made sense probably to roll them all out while you were doing it. Yeah, it sure did. It sure did. So it really expands, uh, expands our market uh, opportunity with, uh, with, our, with our customer base. Now, um, what, what can we expect in the future? You're a company that's in so many different segments of the the networking market you serve a variety of customers from small business to medium business to, to even carriers before I, I ask about what's next can you tell us a little bit about those different markets and how they're performing yeah so um, you know, so far what we've seen this year in, in fact um, some of the market research for first quarter performance has just come out and what what uh, some of it has shown for us uh, particularly in the router space is we're actually gaining market share uh, in the router space in fact we gained uh, a few points of, uh, of market share in the router space, which is a real testament to, to Adtran's overall value. We've always been a, um, a, a very strong, um, uh, have strong products, high-performing products, but at a, at, a, um, at a price point and a value proposition that really resonates with customers. So in the economic climate that we're in right now, that's really a, a strong message that seems to be resonating with customers. Well, that's great. And so what is coming out next? What, are, what can we expect? Yeah, so the next... Um, yeah, the next uh, series of products, you know, we, 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 if, you, if you look back in time and what we've done across all the product lines is start out on, on the one end of the spectrum and then migrate up, you could continue that, you could expect that same kind of expansion across, uh, across the voice and data products. Okay, very exciting. Todd, thank you so much for your time yeah, and thanks a lot, for Rich. being on the program. Appreciate it.